for the car because that's not the deal. And I'm not rewriting the contract. I'm going to tell them that they have to fix it. But I don't really trust them to touch my car. Well, then you shouldn't have bought it from them. Well, I didn't know if you don't like trust this. them to fix it, because that's your responsibility. If you're going to give somebody $4,000, you call the Better Business Bureau, you ask for a reference, you say, who have you sold cars to before? You do something to satisfy yourself. Yeah, but I, when I bought the car, they said, this is a small town, we want to keep all the business in our mountain, we want it all to be, you can that's trust us. Puffing. Well, I know that now, that's but... That's what you call puffing. Well, yeah, but I didn't know who that was at this? the time. This is my mother. She should have gone with you. She yeah. did. Well, then she's older. She for sure should have known. They're just good well, at what they do. They were very good con artists. He well, said, oh, we'll even go beyond the 60 don't, days. Don't talk to me. That's what a used car place does. They try to sell used cars. Sometimes they're not used perfect cars. But you don't get your money back when you have a warranty. You can sue them to fix the car, but you don't get your money back. This is not a lemon law. Well, you know, if you buy a new car and the car's a lemon, then you get your money back. You have to prove that it's a lemon within a certain number of days. It has to break down a certain number of times. This is a used car. The car has 121,000 miles on it. Which is good for an Isuzu. I didn't know the it's research. It's 121,000 miles. But they're mechanics. They said they took great care of it all. Miss Bowling, yes, you look like a very nice young lady. Thank you. Why these two men who have a business in what town? Blue Jay. Where is that? Blue, up in Lake Arrowhead, California. It's not a Why car shop, it's a mechanic shop. Just a second. I'm sorry. Don't talk to me from there. Do you want me to get up? I think it's important to note they do not own a used car lot. They they own a mechanic shop. Then you shouldn't have bought it there. He did such a good sales job, he convinced Ms. us... Bowling, if you take your daughter, you just keep making excuses. If you take your daughter to buy a used car, you take her someplace that has a reputation for having a good consumer advocacy, that nobody's registered complaints against them. If you go and you buy a car like this that has 121,000 miles on it, you have to know you're buying a pig and a poke. So what and the sign fact, means and nothing? Fact, and what they no, and nothing? what they told you means nothing. Zero. When you're going to sell a car that you want out of your hands, you say, it's a great car, never gave me any trouble. <laughs> never gave me a lick of trouble. I've been driving this car for five years, and I never had a problem with it. And you go off the lot, and you drive around the block, and the guts of the car falls out. You say, I, I didn't it have trouble with the car. warranty. Listen to me. I just told you. They would have to fix it well, if something happened to them. She didn't ask them to give her money back. She asked them to fix it, like they said they would. Right. right. And he said no. Oh, just a second. Did she ask you to fix her she car? Did. When? On February 1st, when she called me. Okay. It's close enough for me for 60 days, and it should be close enough for you. Right. Who own a mechanics business in a small town where the local newspaper is going to air the air date of this case. Because I'm going to see to that. Right. Where nobody's going to bring you their vehicle. You understand that? Yeah. That's one of the risks that you take. So if somebody calls you three days after, and I think she called you before to tell you she was having trouble, I would be a good businessman and fix her car. Actually, she did bring that car to me <clears throat> with a complaint about the brakes. She left the car with me for the day. I ordered the brakes for it. And at the end of the day, she came and picked the car up and said that she would bring it back. She didn't have the money to get it fixed right then because she had to buy the brake pads. Why did she have to buy anything? I, I to be honest with you, I didn't know that that was on there. I never saw that well, on there. Now, I didn't write that oh, on there. Oh, well, now you know. So I was unaware. Now at you this, know. At that point, I now was Now you know. Maybe unaware. Junior put it on. I Maybe felt, Junior did it. I filled that out. And I was the one that dealt with her face-to-face -face when she came, and that wasn't on there. It was on there. You say no, I say yes. And I want to tell you something. I looked at each letter of that 60-day warranty, and each letter of that 60-day warranty matches each letter of everything else that's written on here in the same pen. Now, let's move on from that nonsense. <laughs> Judge Judy continues in a moment. How many mechanic shops are in your town? Probably four. You want to stay in business? Oh, I'll be in business. And later today... Sometimes all of this nonsense works out with Romeo and Juliet. That's when two people are smart and don't make three children before they're 21 years old. Ridiculous. Don't you see the ridiculousness of that?